LinkedIn is a professional network uh, that allows professionals to connect with each other online. So as you can see here, this is my personal profile. Um, I'm currently a LinkedIn Power Profile user for 2015. I, I got awarded that uh, a couple of months ago. And essentially what that means is that uh, in my field, so within HR, um, I'm one of the top nine profiles uh, in Australia. So to have a killer profile, uh, it's really important to firstly have a profile picture. Um, but it's also really important to make sure that it's not, it's not a picture which uh, you would normally use in social media. For example, it's also really important not to have profile pictures where you, know, you might be drinking a beer or you might be with a group of people because it's really important to, to show you uh, in a professional environment rather than a social environment. It's also really important to have a really good summary. Uh, this will give people a good understanding of what, you, what you've done, uh, what, you, what you hope to achieve, uh, your career objective, and also a little bit about yourself as well. Now we go down to what your experience is and where you've worked. Uh, so what's really important is not just to, to have your job description, um, but really focus on what you achieved in that role, uh, what your role was, uh, who you worked with, um, and also any kind of projects that you, you did while, uh, while working there. So as you can see on my LinkedIn, I've moved around quite a bit. However, a big reason why I have moved around a lot is because I've been headhunted a lot. Uh, I've, I've not had to apply for any jobs for, for quite a while because of my LinkedIn profile. The internships are really important to, to add uh, within your work experience. Because LinkedIn is a professional network, it's really important not to include certain things like uh, personal beliefs, uh, political beliefs, religious beliefs, anything like that because you don't want to dissuade people from looking at your profile and hiring you. So a lot of people will change that headline uh, to what their job title is. Um, that's, a, that's a common misconception. However, what's really important is to have a captivating title that will make people want to see uh, your profile. Uh, the, so when people search for, uh, do searches on LinkedIn, the first thing they'll see is your name and that headline. So it's really important to, to have something that's really engaging. So it's also really important to, to have your education there. I wouldn't focus too much on what you did at primary school, uh, but high school and university and, and any other kind of education is important, particularly if you've done any, any certifications that are relevant to your course. So now we've got the endorsements. Uh, this is really important for people to know, you know what, your, what your strengths are uh, in your role. So you, other people endorse you. As you can see, a lot of, I've got quite a lot of endorsements uh, from my connections. And, and on the other way as well, it's important for you to endorse other people. It's really important to build your network with relevant contacts uh, with people within your industry. Uh, the reason behind that is because you know, you'll get to meet new hiring managers. Uh, it's a lot easier to connect with people, like say if you're in a networking event or uh, if you meet someone at a conference. It's much easier to connect with them on LinkedIn rather than something like Facebook, for example. Uh, it gives you access to, to hiring managers and people who, who are actually looking to, to hire people like yourself. So it's really important to connect with groups that, that are important to your field. Uh, that way it allows you to keep in touch with what's happening in, in the industry and uh, what the latest trends are. These days, more companies are advertising their jobs through LinkedIn rather than other job boards like Seek. So it's really important to follow companies as well. Uh, the reason why that's the case is because a lot of companies that you follow will post jobs there. So it will, you'll get notifications from these companies when there is a particular job that, that is available. So there are two ways to get connected with hiring managers and recruiters. Uh, first thing is if, if you go on Seek, and you go through an ad, you, you will find usually a name uh, at the bottom of the ad. What's really good is to find them on LinkedIn, get in touch with them, and 
give your application that way. Another way is if you look at a job through LinkedIn, uh, normally you'll see who posted that job, and it's always nice to, to connect with them, write a, you know, write a personal message, so that way you'll stand out. So it's really important to add any language uh, that you may know. That way, this way employers are able to, to see how you'd be able to add value to their business. Um, and you know, it might be something different because you know, that, that com a lot of companies now are multinational and require you know, support within other countries. So here we've got recommendations. Uh, this is really important because uh, it allows other people uh, within your network uh, to, to recommend you and the work that you did while you, know, you, you worked on a particular project or while you were in a company. So when you're creating your LinkedIn profile as well, it's really, really important that you check for any spelling mistakes and any grammar mistakes. Uh, this is important because this is essentially your online CV. So if they see that you know, you're, you know, you're looking for a, what kind of job? Uh, let, let's say you're looking for a customer support role uh, and you've got a lot of spelling mistakes, then it kind of shows that you're probably not very good at communicating. Another important thing when creating your LinkedIn profile is making sure you've got keywords that are relevant to your industry. Uh, the reason behind that is because when people do searches on LinkedIn for candidates, they're going to be looking for those keywords. So it's really important to, to have that spread out through, throughout your profile. If you're looking for a job in Australia, you need to have a LinkedIn profile. And just remember, it's a professional network, not a social network. So you need to be careful what you put out there.